with communist forces only a few miles from the center of Saigon, the order to evacuate American nationals is given. Those South Vietnamese not lucky enough to have been chosen for evacuation defied the curfew and stood outside the embassy gate, begging for a seat on the helicopter. Wait here. I'll deal with this. State your business. Only authorized personnel are allowed past this point. My men and I have been given clearance to be transported home from Saigon. All right. We're going to contact command before letting you through. staring at. Command just got back to me. How many of them is there? Whoa, whoa, what's with the kin, huh? What's with the kin? This transport is only for U.S. soldiers and authorized South Vietnamese civilians. Relax, relax, calm down. He's with me. I have his papers right here. These are IA documents? Damn, there must be something special about that goop. More than you know. All right, let him through. Did you hear that? Hear what? Sounded like movement in those trees. I think you were just letting the jungle get to you, man. I guess, man, I'm, I just want to get the hell out of this place. You got that die! Mulan, move! Find some cover! Set them up a perimeter! Get there before they do! Get out of sight! Come on, we need to go. Okay. 
Damn, man. Can't wait to go home. I haven't heard from my family in months. Why? Not gonna miss all this? What's there to miss? What are you talking about? I had way too much fun here. You're just a simple fucking creature, ain't you? Ain't that the truth. Hey, you guys got a phone in here? Right over there. Just wait here for a minute, kid. I was wondering where you were. I should have expected you'd be in here. You know, I've been listening to the news lately and a lot of Marsleyhood clubs from San Andreas have been making their way over to Vice City. You are considering bringing Sons of War back, are you? It's possible. Look, all those years back when I had Morrigan, I didn't want her to be caught up in all this, but I guess the more I sheltered her from her old life, the more she wanted to learn more about it. But that's not us anymore. We've moved on. But this was your father's club, Shannon. But that club is what got our family in trouble. You said it yourself. It's only ever brought pain. 
What happens when you reopen Sons of War and have a bunch of angry bikers knocking on your door? I don't want to hear this. Because you know it's true. And now you want to bring Morrigan into all this? Jesus, what was I thinking? Bow, please. Let's, both of us, stop trying to justify this motorcycle club and admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I've tried to keep your father's legacy alive? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I stopped running Sons of War? A motorcycle club, one of the most wanted in America, goes belly up, disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Shannon. I am the danger. A new club opens their door and gets shot. You think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. I want you to wait out here while I deal with this, okay? And what if someone spots us? Let's hope that doesn't happen. If it does, run in and get me out. Understood. Sorry, uh, I'm looking for a Mr. Barden. I was informed that he sorts out people's problems. Ah, uh, you must have heard from one of his special clients. He's currently talking to a Mr. Marston at the moment about the location of a Miss Adler. Here he is now. Was there any problems, Mr. Marston? No problem. Have a good day. Mr. Barden should be free now. You're welcome to walk in. Thank you. Sorry to bother you, sir, but I... Ah, hello, my friend. Come, please, take a seat. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, what is it that you want? Well, sir... I've heard from a couple individuals that you're the type of man who can help people disappear. Yeah, that depends. Are we talking about burying someone six feet under or sending them to Australia? Um... Ha! I'm only joking, my friend. Tell me, who told you about me? A Scottish woman by the name of Ariel, and a Frenchman by the name of Winfield Page. Ooh, yes. I think Mr. Page told me about you. You are Seamus Brennan, yes? I'd rather keep that name quiet around here, but yes. He told me you'd come to me eventually. Uh, yes, here. So you wish to have your identity hidden, yes? Correct. Okay, I have a couple of identifications that might work for you, and, uh, Miss Page. His granddaughter, Elizabeth. I see. Tell me, can you speak Polish? Uh, no. Okay, so Rosetsky will not work. Ah, hold on. This sounds promising. Uh, Alan Anderson. Black hair, blue eyes, facial scar, an eye patch, and a smaller moustache. Hmm. Mr. Brennan, do you know how you got that scar exactly? I was very young. A group of bandits came to our door. I guess their leader wanted to leave a mark on my brother and I. My cut, unfortunately, was a bit deeper than his. This man, uh, Alan Anderson, has the very same scar as you. He was a U.S. Marshal. However, not many people know that he did travel down to Mexico, trying to take on some legendary gunslinger known as Landon Ricketts. I'm guessing he didn't survive. No, not exactly. My, not exactly, I mean he is dead. 
But no one knows that, at least not yet. I'm going to give you his marshal badge, identity papers, and marriage certificates, congratulations. After that, it's up to you what you do with them. What about Elizabeth? Anderson had a wife, a blonde girl, very similar to Elizabeth from what I hear. Rachel? Yes, that is the one. Alright, how much do I owe you for all this? Nothing. Uh, Winfield Page, he has already given me payment for this. You should thank him the next time you see him. I wish I could. We need to get out of here. I think people are starting to notice us. Well, when you show up in an entire town, that tends to happen. You've got this, Pudgy. If any of you are looking to join Sons of War, follow me inside. Are you going to tell me what happened in that office? Your grandfather has already paid for our identities. God bless his soul. But don't worry, it's more of a peace of mind for when we decide to move on and start a family of our own. And what will our new names be? Alan and Rachel Anderson. Rachel? Huh. <laughs> Interesting name. I've been having dreams of my family, Seamus. I fear I might be the last of the Page bloodline. What about your twin sister? That's the thing. I, I just don't know where she is or if she's okay. I feel as if there's something pulling me back. Did my grandfather ever tell you anything about my family? Whoa, 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 whoa. Madame Nazar? The gypsy woman? What do you want? Another friend of yours? No, but she is a vulva, a female shaman, a deep seer into pagan rituals. I am the seeress. 
helping those who are lost. We don't need your help. I don't like playing around with this witchcraft shit. Do you not wish to seek the truth of the scorpion man from your visions? Hmm. I say you bring gold. However, even you are unaware of that weapon's worth. That gun is not for you. You are very tense, Shimas, the self-obsessed. Self-obsessed? You know nothing about me. I know more than you know yourself. Do you wish to know who the Scorpion Man is? Sure, go on. Hmm. This man will turn the tide for your sons of war. After witnessing devastating conflict being raised by your own son, he will eventually become old and wise. Through trial and error, he will give sons of war a new light, a new purpose, a new beginning. What makes this man so special? He will be chosen by Odin himself. Well, that was a crap. I'm going back to the wagon. I've had enough listening to this. I apologize for his ignorance. He is not like you and I. Oh, understandable. In time he'll learn, just as you will. You said this scorpion man will be chosen by Odin. His bloodline will be passed down for generations of Vikings. Your bloodline. What? You have the powers you can't even explain. A family tree like no other. Your bloodline comes directly from the god of war himself, Odin. Granting you and your family reincarnation if you wish to take the chance. This scorpion man from your bloodline, he is your grandson. Wait, y you mean our grandson, right? He is your grandson. Are all futures determined? If you believe them to be so. How can I be granted reincarnation? When the time is right, find somebody who is close to your family. Before you die, ask them this. Do you believe in the reincarnation, followed by their family name? After you pass from this world, their body will hold your spirit, and when they die, your spirit will be released, and you shall be reborn. Anderson! Streets, man. All right, this is all the right. guy I told you about who beat up all those thugs and broke up? Yeah, great. Listen, Ellie, would you uh, give us a little space, please? All right, all right. Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, so you know, streets take no prisoners, right? But, you know, kids need hope. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, well, you know, we gotta clean up some eggs, brother. We're gonna clean them up, you know? Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Here, Manny Escuela is rapping with a street accomplice about cleaning up the streets yeah. of Moab. Yeah, turn that off. Wait, wait, wait Criminals are trying to reform their neighborhood. Wait. Hey, hey, please, hey, hold on a second. Hey. Hey. Well, lad. Oh, hey, Scotty. You good? Yeah, I'm all right. Just another one of those days. <sighs> you can say that again. I don't know, man. It's like, my whole life has been this one crazy journey. Now I'm just sitting around doing nothing but thinking about the past. It's definitely a lot quieter around here, that's for sure. But look man, it's 2024. Let's go out for a bit. When was the last time we went for a pint? Um... Exactly, come on. Did you get those new cuts I ordered? I fucking did, eh?
Wilma's wife says to him. She says, Shh. It's Roman! Our oh, hero! Two jars, please. In other news, crime rates have been skyrocketing in the state of Lanida as Vice City has become the new hotspot for gang activity. Vietnam veteran and gun shop owner Jerry Kapowitz says business has been booming for him. He hasn't made this much money since he found those diamonds in Liberty City worth $2 million back in 2008. We'll tell you more after these messages. You miss it, don't you? Some days, I just want to relive that dream. An army of bikers. So when are we heading to Vice City? When we're ready. And this time, I won't make the same mistakes I made in Los Santos. Besides, someone down there owes me a favor. Were you followed? No, I wasn't expecting anyone to follow me. Is that so? I can go if you want, Mr. Vercetti. No, no. Stay. And please, call me Tommy. Have you ever worked for any of the families up north? No, sir. Good. So what brings you to Vice City, Scorpio? I need to make a lot of money. I heard you're the guy to go to. I want to hear about this Morsile club you were part of. Sons of War. It was originally owned by a man named Anderson. He practically raised me. But he passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. I just want to make enough money to start rebuilding Sons of War MC back in San Andreas. I promise you, Mr. Vercetti, I'm loyal. I'll do whatever you need. If you do good by me, I'll do good by you. That's a promise. And if you ever decide to bring your Morsa Club down to Vice City, I'll make sure no one touches you. I appreciate that, Mr. Vercetti. You know, Scorpio? I think you and I are going to work very well together. Next. Name? Ah, uh, Bobby. But my friends call me Uwe. You sure it ain't an accident that you're here today, Bobby? Ah, there are no accidents. Alright. Welcome aboard. Next. Name? People around here call me Cherry. Why's the young one like yourself wanting to join a militia? Change the scenery, I guess. As long as you can shoot a rifle, we should be all good. Alright, next one up there. The name's Adrian. A Mexican? Why not join up with the Molinas? Their gang ain't exactly what I'm looking for. Ari, you're in. I didn't think we'd have so many people looking to join us. We'll have to give it to Seamus. He knows how to keep a good reputation. Next! What's your name? Name's Alfred. Type of, type of fucking name is that? It's a, it's a Norwegian name. Jesus. And here's me thinking one Viking was enough in this group. Nevertheless, we don't discriminate here. Welcome aboard. Cheers, thank you. I uh, look forward to working with you lads. Here, Jackie. Give me another point there like a good lad, would you? It's your turn to bite around. <laughs> ah, here. I'm a bit broke up after that fight. I'll buy you the next few, promise. <laughs> no problem. Alright, who's left? I am Pouncing Fox. This is Johnny Knifeman. We are brothers from the Repeaty tribe from New Hanover. You're a little far from home, aren't you, lads? Because their home was taken from them. My mother was a part of the Wapiti tribe. My father, a French businessman from Le Moyne. It's good to reunite, brother. I'll talk with these two, Paji. Cheers, Jacques. I see your recruitment for Sons of War has been going quite well. Sure someone has to do it while the boss man's out. Ah, would you look at you, being a helpful younger brother. <laughs> I'll help him as much as I can until I have to head home. Back to Ireland? Yeah. 
Would you take me with you? Jade's never seen this place so crowded. We'll talk about that after. Padgy. Hey, look who's finally showed his face. I told you I'd get back as quick as I could. <laughs> Come on, let's grab a point, you mad bastard. You absolute weapon. <laughs> Seems you two have been doing well around here. Perhaps we should celebrate. Next round's on Pudgy. Fuck. It is, isn't it? No, no. I mean an actual celebration. You mean a party? A Christmas party. Hold on. Do I just hear the Viking of the group say that? <laughs> I think you did. Hey, where do you think the whole point of the Christmas tree came from? She's right. The tree's from a pagan tradition. Thank you, Jack. All right, so... A Christmas party we shall have. But for now, cheers. 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 Does this pose look okay? Yep, just hold steady there, miss. Lovely. Thank you. No problem, mister. Enjoy tumbleweed while you still can. Thank you. I've acquired the deed for Fort Mercer, Mr. Brennan. My men are gathering some supplies here for your celebration. I appreciate that. But I can't help but notice everyone leaving town. We're all moving to Armadillo because of the train line. Soon. Tumbleweed will be a ghost town. That's such a pity. This place seems quite nice. I must also warn you, Mr. Brennan. Papa Wolf is here. And Tumbleweed? Yes. His office is above the saloon. My spies have informed me that he's annoyed about my commission acquiring Fort Mercer and has arranged for the banished ones to arrive in New Austin. I can't allow this to happen. So let's go put him in the ground. I can't do that either. That would be bad for business. But perhaps Elizabeth could help with this one. Me? I need you to tell him that the McDowell Commission wishes for him to remove his men from New Austin. Myself and Mr. Brennan shall head to Fort Mercer. But wait, shouldn't I be at Fort Mercer with you? I insist. <sighs> it's fine. Just stay safe. I'll see you later, Magra. All right. I'll see you later then. Town keeps getting smaller and smaller. Almost by today. That's how it goes these days. Oh, it's you. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. You may leave us now, Mr. Motelli. Papa Wolf, the Commission told me you'd be here. They wish for me to instruct you to remove the Banished Ones from New Austin. The Sons of War will now be in charge of Fort Mercer. Then let's hope Seamus is up to the challenge. I should be there with him. It's upsetting to me to see that the Commission doesn't fully appreciate your talents. Don't you wonder why they don't make the Sons of War masters? I wish I knew. More and more, I get the feeling that we're being excluded. I know there are things about my family that they are not telling me. They don't trust you, Elizabeth. They see your future. They know your power will be too strong to control. You must break the fog of lies that the Sons of War have created around you. Let me help you to know the subtleties of the Viking ways. How do you know the ways of the Vikings? My mentor taught me everything about the pagan lifestyle. 
even the nature of their dark side. You know the dark side? Elizabeth, if one is to understand the great mysteries, one must study all of its aspect. Not just the dogmatic view Seamus has been teaching you. If you wish to become a complete and wise leader, you must embrace a larger view than all these simple-minded gangs. Take these two ex-members of the Sons of War, for example. Hailer and Chaotic. Ex-members? We were once part of Sons of War a very long time ago. But the man who leads you currently, he casts us out. He abandoned us. You mean Seamus? No, no. That can't be. I'll tell you used to be the second in command of Sons of War. But Seamus didn't understand that Sons of War needed to be just like the other gangs to grow. He was so focused on tradition. The old ways. So he turned his back on us. When the time comes, he will abandon you too. Best thing you can do is to overthrow him before he gets the chance to do so. I don't want to hear this. You... you lie. If that's what you want to believe. Be careful of the sons of war, Elizabeth. Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any leader. Learn your Viking heritage and the dark side. And perhaps through our little enclave, you will get to meet your twin sister again. What did you say? Your sister. She married a man by the name of Jonathan Hertz. A member of my Enclave Society. You aren't just working with this Enclave. You're one of its leaders. I know what's been troubling you. Listen to me. Don't continue to be a pawn of the Sons of War. Ever since I met you, you've been looking for a life greater than any member of the Sons of War. A life of significance. Of conscience. Are you going to kill me? I would certainly like to. I know you would. I can feel your anger. It gives you focus, makes you stronger. I'm going to turn you over to the Sons of War. Of course you should. But you're not sure of their intentions, are you? I will quickly discover the truth of all this. You have great wisdom, Elizabeth. Learn the powers of your Viking heritage. The power to reunite with your last surviving family member. Howdy, miss. What will you have? Whiskey. Jameson. A Viking drinking Irish whiskey. Seamus must be rubbing off on you. Have you been here all night? Yep. Why do you have such a grudge against me? Excuse me? The moment we first met, you never liked me. Always defaming me for my family bloodline. Your Viking bloodline. And what's wrong with that? Oh, I don't know. The rain, pillaging, rape, and bastards. Does that summarize a Viking? Besides, half you Americans will find something that'll probably be only like 2% of your bloodline you'll run with it. Have I not proven my loyalty towards Sons of War? I don't wish to be your enemy, Potty. Trust me. You don't want to be enemies with my family. <sighs> Maybe I have been too harsh on you. For my brother's sake, let's put our disagreements to one side. Sure. I'm going to make my way to Fort Mercer soon. Yeah, I'm going to go give it a look myself. Rui, I'll see you after, Liz. Mr. Bernand? I ask you come with us, please.
Ah, hello, Mr. Brennan. Would you kindly take a seat? What's this all about? I am Lieutenant William Tabington III. This here with me is Captain Herbert Kitchener. We are part of His Majesty's First Royal Dragoons. Ah, that's lovely, isn't it? So your king is telling you to go harass the Irish out in America now as well? Not quite, Mr. Brennand. You see, we received a report from our British embassy in Saint-Denis that had an unapproved shipment of rifles was meant to arrive at Cork Harbour a few months back. The rifles, of course, never arrived. However, we did receive a copy of a letter that was addressed to you from some very traitorous individuals. Traitorous? Leaders of a terrorist organisation with an island known as the Irish Republican Brotherhood. The letter suggests that you have an involvement with this group, Mr. Brennand. Read it out to him. We hereby request of you, Podgy Brennand, to resume all weapon transactions with the various organisations that you have connections with within the United States, if feasible. All transactions will be paid for in advance. Any extra payments will be reimbursed. In doing so, you will be supporting our cause for United Ireland, signed by Patrick Pierce, Thomas Clark, and James Connolly. Now, Mr. Brennand, this could be seen as treason in His Majesty's eyes. So are you going to arrest me? No. Instead, we wish to leave you with a warning. We'll be watching you and that militia you're part of. As long as you don't send any guns to Ireland, we'll be all good. Do I make myself clear? It's long a fall, gentlemen. Here it is, Mr. Brennan. My gift to you. It ain't too bad. With strong walls for defenses, too. Exactly. This fort will make a perfect contribution to the McDowell Commission. If you say so. I'll begin searching for our men's sleeping quarters. Grand. We're definitely gonna have to map out this place. Ah! You made it. What do you think of the place? We need to talk. Something wrong? The British are on to me. What? Some soldiers from Saint Denis. They're on to me about the rifles. But you lost them up in Annisburg when your wagon was stolen. Yeah, but they don't know that. Look, I'm gonna have to lie low for a while until this whole thing dies down. Ah, look, at least stay for the Christmas party. Ah, I don't know, man. Come on, just this occasion. Just this one. Ah, fuck it. You twisted me arm. But I have to leave after this. <laughs> then it'll be a night to remember. Come on. <laughs>